Mr. Speaker, the public safety minister should make sure they're all arrested and prosecuted now. Right. Mr. Speaker, the prime minister has admitted that his policy to cut the pay for injured soldiers is having negative consequences, but he refuses to do anything about it. While the prime minister defends his billionaire friends, he has already targeted Canadians suffering from diabetes, cut the danger pay for our troops fighting ISIS, and now has removed the allowances for ill and injured soldiers. All of this to pay for the prime minister's out-of-control spending. Will the Prime Minister show some appreciation and respect for the sacrifices being made by our troops and reverse this, this cold, cold-hearted political policy? Mr. Speaker, our government is committed to ensuring that our military members receive fair pay, a compensation for their services to Canada. Mr. Speaker, and defence policy has for the emphasis on making sure that our members are well supported. Uh, this is why our government has recently approved a 6.34% pay raise for uh, most of its members. Uh, these allowances have also been by, increased by 5.1%. Mr. Speaker, we will make sure that we look after our number one asset, uh, which is our women and men in the, in the Canadian Armed Forces. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.